Okay, we're gonna um, revise so that uh, you are able to clarify whatever that you need. Okay, so we we'll, we'll start with set one book. Okay, so here we go. Huh? And this is from a media paper. So done. And we will focus on algebra because algebra is you know is the the link to sec two. Huh? So if we're unclear with algebra, the whole thing becomes unclear. Okay. Okay, hold on. Huh? Maybe we we try this first, can okay? numbers first, number 13. You can write on a screen, eh? Because you are the only one here. So You can write straight huh, on the screen. You know how to write on the screen? Let's write the answer or to write down everything. Sorry, sorry? Do I have to write down the answer? Uh, just write, okay, what's the answer? 16. 16. Okay, well done. So you got minus 8 here, you got plus 8 here. Okay, well done. Use calculator. Use calculator. Okay, no problem. Um. Okay, all right. You, you try the one inside? What's your answer? Once you get you just tell me. You don't need to write, you just tell me. Okay. All right. Let's see how you put it all in the calculator, is it? Okay, let's see. Let's see. Now we try without the calculator because once you say it's eight, we, we gotta check which one do we do first? Do we do the six times something? Do we do the plus or do we do the last times? Do the plus first. Okay, so you do the plus first. But the thing now inside here you have like that, huh? Something plus something times something so between the plus and the times you must do the times so you must remember number one you have brackets so yes we are doing inside the brackets but inside the bracket you have times and minus or plus you must do the times or divide if there's divide or times you do either one if you have both do the one on left if you have both do the one on left so now that you must follow the system then the rents is from left to right okay if you have plus and minus, left to right. So again, you do brackets. Yes, inside the bracket, you got plus and times. You must do the time. So what's your answer now? 15 times by negative 1. Oh, yeah. Negative 15 times negative 1. Okay, then you got a, you got a plus minus 13. Uh, 2. 2, then times 6. 12. Okay. All right. Nah. So, so even you have the calculator, you still must know the, the steps. Yeah? Okay, let us see now. Okay. So this is now, when you see solve, huh, what does it mean? Sometimes you see evaluate, solve, you see factorize, simplify. Solve and evaluate means the same thing, which means you have to 
find what the unknown is. That means you must find out what is X, what is Y. What's the value of X and Y? If you see factorize, you don't need. It's just Newton. You don't need to find factorize, simplify. You don't need to find who, what is X and all. So can you try A, B, C? Once you finish one, you just tell me. Okay, the answer, the first answer 30. Yes, 30. So now I'm just going to run through with you, okay? So that you just double check, see, uh, that make sure it's not by fluke. Lah, okay? So I, I just changed the thing over this side. Okay? Same thing, correct? So now 0 0.2, Y means 0 0.2 times Y. It means this. I'm, I'm showing now in slow motion what is happening. Lah, okay? So equals to 6. So now you want to find y, you must take 6 divided by 0 0.2. Is that what you did? Did you do that? Yes, 6 divided by 0.2. Yeah, correct. Okay, correct. Yeah, that's answer 30. So, yeah, you uh, no problem. Can you try the next one now? I said 2.2 for the second one. 2.2. Okay, did you do you do your working? Yeah. On the paper? Yeah. Can 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 you show me? Everything. Just to check out. I just want to you can just put up like that. I can check. Oh, you want to take a photo? Okay, okay. Let me just hold on. Huh? No, hold on. Okay, thank you. Let me see whether it's clear or not. You you hold on, huh? That should be okay. 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 This process now, as I check through, I want to make sure that you get the steps correct, lah. So we need we need to do this, lah. Okay, Donna. You can see you're working. Correct, eh? So that is you can see right, right? Okay. So you have written this, and then. Suddenly, X appears here, 5 goes down. Now, you can do that only if both sides are fraction. Example, you have 4 over X equals to 5. Means 5, 5 over 1. Ah. Now, you exchange position. You can do that. No problem. But now, you have a 3 down here. This is not a fraction. Yeah, it's not one single fraction. You've got to make it one fraction first. Or you bring the 3 over. Okay, my suggestion now, bring the 3 over and then you complete from there. So you try again now. This time, you bring the 3 over to that side. Plus 3 becomes minus 3, correct? Okay, then you continue from there. Come, you try continue from there again. Sorry, sir, I'll show you the... You got the question, right?
Can you do it? Uh, 0 0.5. 0 0.5, okay. Can I just check uh, uh, and look again? Because I want to check your working. Uh. I want to check step by step what your working is. Can you just show the book? Eh? Or you can take a photo and send me either one. Whichever you prefer. Or you send a photo. Okay, great. Okay, now I am going to open it up. Okay. Yes, let me share. It's so much clearer. Yeah. You sending is so much clearer. Okay, so here, let us see now. You can see, eh? So now you brought, okay, there's no was plus three, you bring over must be minus three. So all this, you got to be very careful. There's no was it plus three? Right, there was a three in. Plus, uh, three minus. Four. It was three, okay. So I'm going to, was, is the question, hold on, uh, you, you just see whether, the question was three minus four over, so let us let us now this process is important all right to for you to find out why why is it sometimes you get it right why you sometimes get it wrong now this minus now you look belongs to the three or belongs to the four over x four. Uh, four over x right then suddenly down here it disappear you must put it down here you didn't bring it over you brought down here in front here is plus when they put don't put a sign means it's plus when you bring over it must be minus down here so now Okay, you've got to try again. <laughs> Please, uh, you 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 try now from here. You use this one and you tell me what do you get after that. Okay. Uh, you want to do on the screen, no problem. Or you want to do on your own, up to you. I leave it to you. You can do wherever you want. How, Ryan, do you get answer? Negative. Negative, man? Negative 0.5. Okay, let us see. Yeah? I'm going to continue from here now. So now down here, we have now, we have uh, brought over, so it's minus 4x over x, 5 minus 3. 5 minus 3, you get 2. Correct? So now you get minus, minus 4 over x. So how do you get the x up? Do you know how to do it? You can just flip. Eh? This is 2 over 1. You can cross flip this. Huh? Is it crisscross method or not? You can crisscross also. Okay, if you want to crisscross, this one can go up. This one can go down. Then it's go up already. You see, you get x over 1. Can. There's a simple way, yes. 
and then you get minus 4 over 2. Can you see not? So minus 4 divided by 2, you get how much? Minus 4 negative divided two. by negative 2. That's your answer. You get uh, x over 1 equals to negative 2. Can you see that? You're clear. Okay, another method. I'll show you another method. You must know a few methods. Lah. Another one is we, we bring this up. We bring this up and we bring this down. We flip like that. Pam. So you get x over 5. X Sorry, x over 4. Uh, this is negative still. Equals to 1 over 2. Then you can cross straight up here. Can you see? This goes up. Huh? 4 divided by 2. Ne you bring the negative over. Negative 4 divided by 2 is also negative 2. Can you see? Nah? Yes. Okay, huh? So you must be consistent in this procedures huh? we, we 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 move on we move on we try you try now the next one see yeah Once you are done, just send over. Eh? You tell me answer, send over, you're working. Eh? Right answer, I need to check also you're, you're working. You got an answer? I'm still doing. Sorry? I am still doing. Oh, still doing. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Zero point two four. No, it's not zero. So I, I need to see your. Can you send me your? You send me your. Can you receive?
So I will share screen now. So you must take note now uh, where you got where you got the steps the thing, because then we we need to fix that uh. So this is it right now. So now can you see? Remember what we said this now. You must do the brackets first. But you took this out from the bracket. Sweet. Do you take out one bracket? Yeah. You broke the bracket, so you must you must you must do the bracket first. So what must you do bracket? What does it mean? It means down here you must times uh, three times y get negative three y. You see, you see now this five you you took eighteen minus three y. Can you see there's a bracket here? You must do you must okay. There's a bracket. We we take the first the first bracket. We got to times it out down here because remember you have brackets. Next one times and divide. So now down here, let us see. This one is plus. This one is minus. This is minus. But down here, three is being multiplied. Three times y, three times minus two. So when you took it out and brought it there, you made two mistakes. Mistake number one, you didn't do the multiplication. Number two, even if you brought it over, the minus how come remain minus? Might become plus. But but even if you brought it and make it plus, you still be wrong. Why? Because you didn't times first. So when you times, let us see. We we do this together now. Eh? So now, three times y, three y minus three y. Three times two, six. Minus times minus plus. Are we okay? So you continue from here now. What to do from here now? That means you you continue from down here. Can you continue down there and see what? So if I shift the negative three y to the twelve to the positive twelve, right? Do yeah. I see, is, is it negative or is it twelve? Is it or is it plus? Oh, it becomes plus. Plus five. Yeah. In the twelve becomes minus, right? Yeah, twelve only becomes minus. Yes. Oh, maybe you might be right. Your answer was zero point two five. Yeah. Okay, but but the the steps you are doing are wrong, lah. So, but never mind, you you try it. Okay, so you tell me now what do you get on the left side? Five y plus eight y. You get eight y, is it? Is it true? Got three y. You bring over minus three y. So five y plus three y equals eight y, lah. Correct. Correct. Ah, then now twelve. You bring over there. You have eighteen. Minus twelve, then at the end plus six, you know. Okay, so how? So, eight hmm. y equals to twelve. So, y equals to one point five. One point five. So these are the procedure you have to do this one. Even your let's say by fluke like you get one point five, but the working is wrong. The whole thing is still wrong. Okay, so we. So this is where we need to practice. You need to you need to auto correct self or correct yourself. No, okay, because some of these are internalized. That means you have already learned the wrong strategy in your mind. It's like you know you are learning to fight, then you learn the wrong steps. No, then every time you keep learning the wrong steps because you already must you already internalized inside. Maybe 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 I'm not too sure. So that's why we got to check. That's why I told your mom maybe it's best I I go through with you individually for this one. No, so let us see. Yeah. So can you see, expand simplify. You don't need to find the value of x or b. Value of b, value a. They want you to just expand times and then combine it together. You try for a.
And once you are done, same thing, you send me your photo of it. Eh? How? Ryan, what do you get? What's your answer? I get, um, I get four different ones. Okay, let me send you photo. Okay, you send me a shot. Okay, yeah, it's receive. Okay, let us see. Now I am going to wait. Is this the one? Yes, right. Okay, so let us see now. So you are correct. Okay, so far, this is four. Is it four B? Let me see. Yeah, eight B. Yeah, eight B. So let us see. Eight B times A. Yeah, so get eight B A. Yeah, correct. And down here, let me see, is it minus or okay? So your front part down here, you must be conscious there is no sign, eh? it's plus lah down here. Plus, right? This minus is not part of it, eh? Correct, eh? Not, eh? Down here is 8, eh? Correct? 8B times 8, it be A. So this one is correct. 8 times 2, 16. Plus times minus, correct? Well done. 4 times 3, 12. Minus uh, times plus minus correct. Now this one minus times minus, minus times minus. Last year, four AB. Now, Ryan, down here, AB BA. Can you change this to AB also? Eight AB, and then now you can make it into three terms. So what's your final answer? You tell me. Twelve AB minus sixteen A minus by twelve A. Again, twelve AB minus sixteen B minus twelve A. Yeah. yeah, correct. Well done. Okay, yeah. Are we okay, right? Okay. So we go back now. We go back, but where's the paper? Huh? Hold on, ah. Huh? Paper that disappeared. Eh?
Okay, now you try to find B, the sum. But there is a trick to do this. Huh? Now, what is the trick? The trick is when you find the sum means plus, you put it in a bracket like that. And put a plus sign here. In a bracket like that. My math teacher got teach me how to do the box method, but I forgot to do. Which one? The what? The, the box method. Co co complete. Uh, maybe you show me. You, sh you can show me. What is the box? Macam mana perasaan mo? Kamu nak apa? Okay, you send me. Eh? Okay. Okay, receive. Oh, I need to stop for a while. Hold on. Uh. Let me stop for us and check. Hold on, ah. Huh? How do I open it? Two, so. Okay. This one, right? So, box method, let me see. Okay, let me see. X minus one plus. Okay, good. Uh, you can use your teacher's method, no problem. No problem. So that means well, this I, box. I forgot how to. How to do it? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Yeah. Um, so for this one. Um, so when when okay. So you have a bracket here. So down here. You or oh, x. So four times x. Four x. Four times negative one. Negative four. Three times two. Six. Three times negative x. Negative three x. So you get. 4x minus 4 plus 6 negative 3x. So this one is actually correct. This one is correction as well. Oh, your last one. Uh, actually, you just careless. So your box method, you did it correct. You expanded it correctly. What do you go? Where do you go wrong? You see down here, you utang $4. You have $6. After you pay your utang, you only got $2. Uh, but you say utang $10. So now, if you want to see this clearly, okay, we we arrange this now. We put 6, sorry, minus 4. Can you see now what you're supposed to do? 6 minus 4, you can easily say 2. Can you see? I put the 6 in front, I put the minus 4 behind. I don't change the sign, plus 6 minus 4. So now here become 2. Lah. Correct, like 6 minus 4 is 2, but you wrote negative 10. That is why this is wrong. Are you okay? You get it now? You are doing this correctly. This one correctly. Whether you use the box or not, you didn't use the box, right? So you're doing it correctly. You know what to do. So now, you got to be careful when you... Uh, uh, um, no, no. Where is it? You just got to be careful. Uh. Are you okay, Ryan? You're not confused, right? Sleepy, yeah? How much you collected for Raya? Are there 200? I don't know, Jay. Don't know. Uh. I never found it. Okay, you try. You try the sum.
How Ryan? Are you okay? Trying to do the uh, box method. Okay, you uh, you do the box method. No box method is okay so far. Without box method, so you're okay. okay. The box method, I do not know whether the, is it helpful or not, but you try. No problem. All right, let's check, okay. So long, Ryan, I'm trying to This is the one, right? So let us see. Now you must remember to okay, never mind. But just be careful, uh, especially down here, especially the second one to bracket. Why? Because sometimes you get minus down here, you'll be in trouble. Because minus become minus, because minus minus become plus. But in this case, in this case, you're okay. So now 3x, 7x, 10x. Okay. And then 2y, you have plus 2y, minus 4y. So minus 2y, good. Uh, down here is minus 2y, correct, well done. Plus Z, yeah, correct, congratulations. Okay, well done. Huh? So if you take it slow and all, it's okay. But don't don't be frustrated as we are going through with uh, Shafi and that thing. Huh? You, are, you, know, you, 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 you try your best to follow. So for that class, if you can't do, let's say I give two questions, you do one. You try your best. And then after you finish, you every time after you finish a question, just send me so that I can check. I might not even explain to them that I'm co correcting your, your thing. I will just show and I will run through so that you benefit more. Lah. Let me see. Okay, we are at, you can see, right, this one. Okay, this one now. Okay, first of all, for such questions, you got to believe in yourself now. Ryan. You got to believe in yourself. And then, if you feel confused, if you feel confused, you got to replace this X with a number. Let's say Adam worked 10 number of hours, 10, 10 hours, let's say. 
Then you see what do you do? How to do? You follow the same steps. Okay, you try. Okay. The last one is C. Okay. This is the one, right? Okay. So let us see now. I need to just read the question first. So first one is x times 3. Next one, 3x times 2. Third one is 10x. Okay, so I think that the... Okay, I will I will go through the questions and then at the same time check your answer. Huh? So now there's three persons, Adam, Benjamin, Charlie. They work at the same supermarket. Each of them paid four dollars an hour. So Benjamin worked three hours more than Adam. Adam worked X number of hours. So four times X lah. Okay, he got paid for X, right? This one is clear. Adam worked three more hours. So he got four X or so, but he also will get three hours more. Three times four, twelve. Can you see that? Down here. Is, do you understand this part? Adam worked for X number of hours. So X times 4. Because 1 hour is for $4. X hours is for X dollars. Lah. Then he worked 3 hours more. So he will get $12 more than this. So 4X plus 12. And Benjamin, uh, Charlie worked twice as Benjamin. So they mentioned I times this by 2, I get 8X. And I times this by 2, I get 24. Can you see? Are you okay now? So now, what is the number of hours Benjamin worked? Okay, hold on. Okay, we have worked out all this is in money, you know. And we are we are checking the money here, the money here. That's what, what we are checking this money. So now they're asking for hours. The number of hours Benjamin worked. Now, how to find... Okay, so you got uh, three X plus 3, right? You wrote X plus 3, right? Yes, now. Do you write X plus 3? Let me just check. Solana. Yeah, eight, but you wrote X times 3. Okay, so let us see now. Let us see your answer. Eh? You wrote X times 3. The 3 hours more. More means you got to plus. This is Adam's one. 
Benjamin work three hours more. So X plus three. Come. You cannot see my screen. Blank screen. Ah. Now can you see? Okay. So you wrote X times three. So now down here, if you work three hours more, is X plus three. And this is your answer. You cannot simplify any further. This is the number of hours work. Okay. So now the next one now, it says, write the number of hours Charlie work. Well, let us go back to your, your that thing, Charlie work. So if this is what Benjamin worked, Charlie worked twice, right? So times two, times two. Or you can write it like that. Yeah, if your 3x is correct, if it's, if it's correct, your 6x is correct. But because your 3x is wrong, the next one also become wrong. So how to do twice? You are simple. What you do is, you put the number 2 and bracket them up. Now you put 2, bracket x plus 3. Okay. So 2 times x, 2x. 2 times 3, 6. This is the number of hours Charlie work. Okay. Now the next one now. Hold on. Huh? Then it asks you, write down and simplify the expression in terms for the total number of hours all of them all of them uh, work so total number of hours uh. so total number of hours as we look down here is adam is x benjamin is x plus three and charlie is two x plus six so let's combine all the x x plus x two x plus two x four x okay then you have balance plus 3 plus 6 plus 9. This is the total number of hours. Are you confused? You're confused? Okay, so we go step by step now. X, you agree, is what Adam what? You you agree? You can see the X, huh? you can see here. Huh? Then Benjamin work X plus 3. Right? Now, Charlie worked twice, so we put times 2, times 2. So 2x plus 6. So Charlie work 2x plus 6. So I want to combine all of them. So when I combine all of them, you see, x plus x plus 2x, 4x. You can see now, x plus x, 2x, 2x plus 2x, 4x. 3 plus 6, 9. Are we okay? Okay, now. Nah. So now we do the next one now. We have a look at the next one, um, which is given that the total amount paid to them is 196. Form an equation. Well, um, okay. Just now, actually, you want you to... Okay, this one, we got to go back to this screen. Uh. Okay, just now, we wanted to find out how much you got paid. Remember, no? I, I did for uh, Adam. Adam got paid. Sorry, Adam got paid. He worked for X hours. And then, uh, let me see. One hour is $4, is it? Uh, so, Adam, he got paid $4 times X. 4 times X. Why? Because one hour is $4. He worked for X hours, so he was paid in dollars. Uh, in dollars, uh. this is in dollars. He's paid for X dollars. Okay. I'm not going to put a dollar sign, uh, but you must remember this is money. Uh. And then Benjamin worked three hours longer. So remember, he had Benjamin is like X plus three. This is the number of hours he worked. All right. So you must times it by four. Why? Because it's four dollars an hour. So when you times, you get four x plus twelve. Okay, this again is in dollars or so. This is in dollars or so. What is this? This is the amount of money Benjamin got from working x plus three. The third one, Charlie, he worked. He's paid twice. He worked twice, right? So we can just times this by 2. Lah. What do you get? 8x plus 24. Because he worked twice as long as Benjamin. So this is the amount of money Charlie was paid. 
amount of money Benjamin was paid, an amount of money Adam was paid. And they say the total is 196. So I can take this Adam's money plus Benjamin's money plus Charlie's money is equal to 196. So I can form the equation now down here. It's 4x plus 4x plus 12 plus 8x plus 24 uh, is equal to 196. Plus 24. So notice coming out the equation is more, they will they will give quite a bit of marks. Uh. So, but you, you can you see not the thing. So now down here you add up. Uh, 4x plus 4x, 8x. 8x plus 8x, 16x. Uh, so we simplify, put it 16x down here. Then 12 plus 24. That means you add together, you get 36. Uh, this is equal to 36. It's equal to 196. Now bring the 36 over that side. When you bring the 36 over that side, Plus 36, you bring over, become minus 36. So what do you have? You have 16x equals to 196 minus 36. <coughs> and when you minus, you get 160. 16x equals to 160. You divide, you get x equals to 10. 160 divided 16, you get 10. So what is x? X is the number of hours. So you found out that Adam worked 10 hours. Benjamin worked 3 hours more than Adam. Means 3 plus 10, 13. And Charlie worked twice. 13 times 2, 26. Okay, never mind. We move on. Huh? Okay, we move on. Okay, are you okay? I will... You don't look okay. You don't look okay. You look tired. Lah. What happened? You had enough sleep. Huh? You must, you must have enough sleep right, before enough rest right, because we are using your brain power. No? Okay, we, we, we move on to the next one. But I will load it up for, for you to look at your video lah, if you want to. So you can revise. I'll give you my own question. Lah, okay, I'll give you my own question. You try to solve this. Okay, you try to solve this. Eh? Can you solve this? Can see, huh? Are you okay? We do this last question. Huh? You look tired, huh? You know, we are only going for one hour, right? Are you happy? No, you want one and a half hours? Yeah, you sure? No, I can start. We try first, we try first. Okay, this one is more intense, very focused on you, so... Yep. Yeah, you change it to negative. Yes, you have to. You have to. Once you bring this plus becomes minus. So we have like that. Right. So is it 24? 25. 24. Yeah, correct. 25. Okay, so the minus 12 we bring over becomes plus 12. So down here becomes 50, down here becomes 2x. So x equals to 25, and you divide. Do you get the same thing, right? I got 24. 24? Yeah. How come we get 38 plus 12 is oh, 50? Right? I put 36. 
Oh, 26. Okay. So it's okay. Maybe for now, we, for today, we stop here. If next lesson, if I think you are all right, we'll go on further. Lah. But what you do is you practice. Lah. You practice on your own. You you want me to send you questions? I, I do not want you to feel pressured. Lah. You 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 do questions, you ask me. Lah. You send me your working. You practice whatever you want. Uh, whatever question you want to practice, your homework or whatever, then you send it to me. Let me check. You Do you have homework to do? Lah? Huh? I think so. Uh, so you you do some of this homework. Don't wait until last minute. You just send it to me. Then during the lessons, I can go through this. Sometimes the other lesson, I'll go through it. Okay? Take care of yourself. Are you in um, contact with Nabil? No. You know who he is? Yeah, I have his number, but I don't talk to him. Oh, no, don't friend each other anymore. <laughs> different school, right? Yeah, different school. Okay, okay. You take care. All right, Samikom. See you. Bye-bye.